Welcome to Stacker News. What did you miss last week in web dev? Last week, we built an amazing toggle switch, learned how to code faster, and used the GitHub GraphQL API to bring data into our Next.js application. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite creators from last week. Maybe you'll discover some new content that you didn't know about, but there's even more news in the Stacker News newsletter. Click the link in the description below to sign up. All of the links mentioned will be in the newsletter. This is Stacker News. First up in top news, Electron 15 was released, Node.js 16.10, and Gatsby 4 is now in beta. Now onto the VS Code extension of the week. Too many of us rely on console logs to debug, and I'm guilty of that too. So let's just embrace it and at least have some meaningful log messages. The Turbo Console Log VS Code extension will automate the process of writing helpful log messages. Just put your cursor on the variable that you want to log and then press Control alt l It will automatically include a message detailing what variable is being logged out. Here are last week's videos in no particular order. You have to go check out this really cool toggle switch from Mina, aka Code and Dream. This toggle switch tutorial uses vanilla CSS and JavaScript. Maybe this will inspire you to build and create something really cool too. Jeff at Fireship is a pro code stacker. And if you want to learn how to over engineer a website, he can show you how. In this video, you'll learn what a tech stack is and how easily they can become crowded. He'll also show you how you can simplify your tech stack. Next up, Python Simplify builds a simple web app using Flask and Heroku. This tutorial covers all of the basics of Flask from start to finish. Do you want to learn how to code faster? Of course you do. Go check out this video from Nicole.Young. She covers five things that will help you code in a more effective and efficient way so that you can make progress toward your goals faster. In this video from Andy Sterkowitz, you'll learn five essential skills that are often overlooked when it comes to being a programmer. So go check out this video to see what helped Andy become a programmer. Are you overwhelmed when you think about tackling a monster 40 hour React course or watch a boring CSS production? Or how about those JavaScript lectures that never seem to end? In this video from Real Tough Candy, she'll show you an alternative. She reviews the courses from Kyle at Web Dev Simplified. So go check that out if you want to see what RTC thinks about them and if it's worth your investment. Next from Colby Fea, you're gonna learn how to use the GitHub GraphQL API to fetch your pinned GitHub repositories to display them in a Next.js React application. He'll walk you through generating a GitHub personal access token, setting up Apollo client with authentication, and create a GraphQL query to get your repository data. I thought this was really cool and I learned a lot, so go check it out. Next up from Max Programming, he shows you how to build a Discord bot using a really cool API, Node.js, and deploy it on Heroku. Now onto articles, podcasts, and socials. A great article that I came across on Dev2 is from Eleftheria. She is a shy introvert with anxiety issues. We have a lot in common. But she was able to overcome her fears and speak at two conferences. That's amazing. She is an inspiration. So go check out this article. For podcasts, we had another great episode on syntax about going from React to SvelteKit. In this episode, Scott talks about moving his level up tutorial site from React to SvelteKit, why he did it, how he did it, the benefits, and some pitfalls along the way. If you want to see five project examples that you could use for your portfolio, go check out this short carousel on Instagram from Alan V. And if you want to know some websites to practice your front end skills, go check out Brylam on TikTok. Again, there's even more content in the newsletter. The link is in the description. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.